Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tyler. This is my tabletop. Today we're going to be following along with the instructions to put to assemble a burning chariot of Tesnich from Games Workshop. This is the large model, the centerpiece model for the uh, start collecting box for uh, disciples of Tesnich. Uh, I'm assembling this one as a burning chariot. Um, as opposed to the Herald of Tesnich on Burning Chariot. Um, mostly because... Um, uh, I So I have two, and I built one as one and one as the other. So, honestly. Um, but what I'm going to do is... Um, Pretty much you can just follow these the instructions that I'm following. Um, they are functionally the same with just a few differences at the end. So uh, anyway, so we start off with step one, which is putting together the screamers that are pulling the chariot. And these are functionally identical to the standalone screamers that we built earlier. The only real difference is that their tails are a little different so that they can connect to the chariot itself. And um, their bodies have the hole in the base for uh, where the flight stand would go if they were standalone, but there's no flight stand for these. So there is a plastic plug that you put in, um, but very straightforward. It, it works just like any other model that we've put together. Um, once we finish up these, uh, we're going to put together the exalted flamer that is riding on the chariot. Um, now this is basically, uh, it's a more advanced flamer, like the ones that we built earlier. Um, it's I didn't really run into any problems. Um, there's so there's this uh, middle flame bit that goes in the in between the two halves of the body, and um, it's got pegs and holes so that there's only one way that it can go in. So you want to dry fit it first, um, which you saw me doing. Uh, you just want to make sure you get it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, before you add the glue. Um, and then, I mean, you just, you put the arms on, and that's, it's pretty much done. Um, and really, the next thing that they have you do, um, is gonna be building all the stuff that goes around it. Um, gonna, we're gonna put together the Herald, which, um, for this particular layout, he's going to stand on his own base, and then we'll put together the um, Blue Horrors, which um, they wind up getting glued to uh, their riding on the chariot. So uh, if you build the Burning Chariot as a Herald on Chariot, um, the Blue Horrors stand on their own bases, but if you build it as a flamer on chariot, um, he, they ride along. Um, I do suggest uh, doing what I'm doing, and I'm not gluing the uh, blue flamers, not the blue flamers, the blue horrors to the actual, um, to the chariot itself. So that I can paint them separately. Um, I've got them. They're they're identical to uh, regular blue horrors. So um, they actually got lost in the pile of blue horrors that I've been painting lately. So uh, I'm just gonna pull three of them out <laughs> once they're done and uh, glue them to this thing. Uh, so, anyway, right now what we're doing is we are 
uh, assembling the Herald. And like most uh, hero figures, uh, GW gives you plenty of options. There's different head options and uh, different weapon options. So um, you can take your time and pick what you like. Um, I can't remember. Oh, sorry, let me thumb through the... Okay, yeah, so the uh, Herald, you have to decide whether it's going to have the Staff of Change or the Ritual Dagger. Um, I wound up choosing the Staff of Change for him. Um, there's obviously, there's no point cost difference, but you have to choose between the two uh, when you're putting it together. So... Um, you can see that I, once again, I'm changing up the view. Um, I, I kind of like this over the shoulder a little bit better. I've flip-flopped back and forth, but um, you can see more of what I'm doing. Um, now, it doesn't have good laser focus because it's using my uh, camcorder, but it does... Uh, doesn't autofocus but um i can i know better where everything is like i know where the camera is looking so i can keep uh what i'm doing in focus a little bit better i think but And this, so the Herald obviously takes a little bit of time. Um, if you like putting things together, like, I enjoy doing this, so uh, assembling minis is actually my favorite part, uh, which is why it takes a while for me to paint stuff. <laughs> um, I've said it before, I like assembling stuff. Um, but eventually, he gets put together. And now we're going to clip the blue horrors out. Um, these little guys are like four or five pieces a piece, which is pretty crazy for how small they are. Um, but everything's numbered, which helps out a lot. Uh, some things like the uh, that Herald of Corn on. Uh, blood Crusher. Uh, parts weren't numbered. It didn't come with any instructions. Uh, it was a bit of a pain. But this stuff... Th this kit is good. Um, everything's numbered. It's got good instructions. Uh, it goes together really well. Um... One thing to keep in mind, uh, which uh, you guys are about to see I get started on, uh, the actual chariot itself, um, there are two different kinds of uh, spikes that go on it. Um, and uh, I grabbed some of the wrong ones when I was pulling things apart <laughs> um uh, I guess you could use them um but I wound up uh the ones that go with the herald are bigger um and so I think they would actually get in the way 
if you used them with the flamer and the three blues that are standing on it. So now we're working, uh, so if you were actually following the steps, we're in step five now. Uh, we're actually building the chariot itself. Uh, we've built everything else, so. Um, <clears throat> there are eight spikes or tentacles that go around the outside edge of the uh, piece itself. Um, and then there's like the, the stand that the whole thing stands on, um, which is like three pieces and uh, they incorporate the tails of the screamers, so. So the, uh, the tentacles and the blades go, uh, they've got little slots on them, so I mean, I guess you could mix them up, put them out however you wanted them, um, but, uh, yeah, you can see I switched to the little ones, um, the big ones were a little big. the stand itself. Um, the stand, uh, the flat part that actually attaches to the base is carried over on all three parts, so you have to be pretty careful and make sure that they're all flush. Um, that was the part that I wanted to make sure, like, the top parts can be a little off, I don't care about that, but I did want to make sure that the actual, um, the part that it's going to be sitting on was good and level and flush. So. And I just attached the flamer. And that's it. Um, so, uh, came together really well. Uh, I liked it. Um, it's a really nice looking kit. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like it, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I will talk to you guys again soon. I'm Tyler, and this has been my Tabletop.